Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. Okay, we're going to do a little more Canadian content for you. Uh, this time we're going to go a little bit local for us. Yeah. Uh, there was a band that we uh, were well, we went to see last night. And, uh, well, it was at the uh, East Coast Kitchen Party in yes. at uh, Garden Square in Brampton. Uh, there were two bands that were there. Uh, one we know, the other one we didn't. Uh, we may check the other one out later, but we do know this band. This is Eclectic Revival. Yeah. And we wanted to do uh, another song for them because they're such nice guys. And their yeah. music is really great. Exactly. So <clears throat> we're going to do a song called Comedy Slash Tragedy. That sounds interesting. These guys can be quite funny, and I'm wondering what this is going to be like. This could be very interesting for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, we uh, went last night to uh, the East Coast Kitchen Party, and uh, we had a good time. And we ate some... Really good food. Really good soul food. Yeah. I know it has nothing to do with the East Coast, but there was a soul food... Uh, food uh, truck. Food truck. And we just... We fall in love with that place already. Yeah. So, we went there. That was good. That was some good food. It really was. Yeah, especially the butter tart sundae they made for oh us. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my there was two whole butter tarts in the Sunday. Oh you know, my goodness! It's just nuts. But back to this. Um, this is Eclectic Revival, and their song, comedy slash tragedy. Through the wastelands known as the Raceland And you can't think of a thing to say Narrowly avoiding, it's not such a short thing To have my heart sink or fade away So there you are and here I'll be The tragedy to your comedy And you're the one that pushes me from the revolving door The time that we spend will just be a dent that you can just ignore So there you are and here I'll be The tragedy to your comedy This is so fun It is Oh my gosh, I always love this stuff. Oh yeah, I love these beats, they're really great. This very classic, uh, I suppose, East Coast feel. Yeah. Not really yeah. necessarily East Coast, more, you know, you know, Irish, English. Yeah, that kind of folky thing. Folky sound, right? Yeah. You know, uh, and it's kind of what the port uh, songs are like, uh, in at least on the East Coast. Yeah. Yeah. Like a pirate song. Like a pirate song, <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah, this is a great sound, and uh, we're really enjoying it. All the instrumentation is amazing, of, of, course, course. of course, and the vocals are fantastic, of, of course, of course. <laughs> every these, time. Yeah, these guys are fun, and uh, you got to see these guys live. They're really great. Yeah, they really are, and they just live off of the audience's energy. They love it. Yeah, that's yeah. the best part, really. They, yeah. they really get into the crowd. It's really nice. So, we'll continue. So there you are and here I'll be The tragedy to your comedy Play it out! So there you are Tragedy to your comedy. 
That was beautiful. I love that end. Me too. Mm. <laughs> I like that they use all sorts of instruments that you don't hear in modern music these days. Mm-hmm. Well, you know? of course. And, and one slightly modern one, that uh, saxophone. Well, yeah, but I mean, the thing is, people these days, they don't use saxophone anymore hardly That's at all. That's true. That's true. You know what I mean? For sure. Or, yeah. the, or the other wind instruments that they tend to use. That's true. It's just not common these days. And really, it makes the song so much better. Mm-hmm. It really does. Oh, for sure. Well, I mean, especially with this style of music. It's yeah. Still, like I said, that folky, quick, dancey jig stuff. It's yeah, really exactly. A, a jig, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is, yes. yes. That's <laughs> the word I was trying to get in the last part. It's a jig. It's a, yes. it's, a, it's got a great sound to it because of that. Yeah, exactly. I always enjoy that, like kitchen party kind of stuff. Like, yeah. uh, like my, uh, like I said, I've said, I've said this before. My grandparents used to hold, you know, not really parties per se. Just get-togethers. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Uh, they would all get together in the kitchen, and someone have someone would have spoons, and whoever knew an instrument would bring that instrument. I had spoons when I was a little kid that I used to. Well, I didn't have spoons. I'd go in the kitchen drawer and get the spoons and play mm. those. Mm-hmm. At my dad and mom's parties. Yeah. yeah same kind of thing. Um, personally, yeah. I'm not into the country music end of things that I had to deal with a lot of the time. No. But it was fun to have like people playing the banjo and the mandolin and stuff like that at the house. Oh, yeah. There's some talented people in my family. I had no mm-hmm. idea. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> especially. And dobro. Oh, my dobro. goodness. Yeah. yeah. Uh, especially like uh, some, of the, some of my... Um, my uncles and cousins. My uncle Paul was a guitarist. And my uh, my cousin Claude's a guitarist. Yeah, my dad's a guitarist. <laughs> uh, uh, we're related to the Poiriers, and uh, um, Edgar did pretty successfully in uh, Canada. Yeah, I'm not sure how he did in, uh, in in the states, but I don't know. But I know it was always a lot of fun to see everybody there with their instruments and everybody yeah. was singing and dancing and stuff you know i don't remember i think my uncle wilford used to play an instrument too and it's hard. i don't remember now but yeah somebody played uh somebody played fiddle there were you know there were a bunch of instruments everybody knew how to play something yeah but this music always feels just like that it feels like you're yeah. At this really great kitchen party, <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean. Exactly. But everybody's I mean, having a good time, and well, and they do their little sociable uh, thing on stage. Yeah. They just again, it makes it feel more homey. Yeah, it's just to bring the crowd together, you know. Yeah. But this is a very fantastic song, as usual, mm-hmm. with these guys. I just I love everything I've heard. Last night they did this really cute song that we hadn't heard before. Mm-hmm. And it was one that the, the lead singer, he wrote it for his wife. It was mm-hmm. so cute. Yeah. Now, there's no video for that up yet, but uh, we're definitely looking forward to it if they're going to do it. Yeah, no kidding. I'd love to see that. There's, so there's live ones if you wanted to see it. It's a song called Boring. So if you guys want to watch the, the live one, then absolutely. We want to hear... like. A finished version of it for sure. Yeah, because we do see them live every once in a while when we get the chance. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we like to put up their actual album versions because it's just the cleaner production of it, that kind of thing. Yeah. It seems to me like they're really pushing for another album to come out. So um, I think that's probably the plan, right? Oh, I can't wait (laughs) because I'm enjoying this one for sure. Yeah. The last song we did was not on this album. Yeah. And, uh, boring is not on this album right so, because the last song we did is their first uh, their brand new song cry yeah. havoc cry havoc yeah yeah uh so yeah i didn't hear those songs before on this not on this album so yeah absolutely. yeah hopefully it'll be on an album at some point soon exactly and we're gonna push that album just as much as we're pushing this one yes we will so i hope you guys enjoyed that as much as we did we always enjoy eclectic revival mm-hmm. Don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later. Sorry. Later. (laughs) Later.